so funny about vlogging in New York City, I don't know if you guys can see me, is that nobody even blinks an eye. Like, I've gotten more comments about my coat and no comments about me walking around talking to myself on camera. No one cares. I'm sure they see this all the time. Anyway, I'm about to go to another story. There's that coat that I wanted to see. Can you guys even see me? There I go. All right, another story. you guys seen the new color of the Prada Clio this golden color it's beautiful so holiday-ish <laughs> and just golden I love gold this is beautiful so I didn't even tell you guys the reason why I am out here is I'm trying to make sure that I start my Christmas shopping early I don't want to um, get stuck like I do every year so I'm trying to do it little by little the problem is I'm probably gonna run into some things that I like, so let's go. they were playing music I didn't want to get a copyright claim but you guys mango sale is ridiculous for Black Friday they have some beautiful things and did you see those chokers that I showed you they're amazing I'm about to go to Sephora right now not that I need to but we're gonna see what we can find Tom Ford fragrances that I a little bit too masculine for me, but yeah, um, the music was playing so I couldn't do much. But you guys, I just made, I just participated in the Sephora sale, and now I want more. I didn't buy anything, <laughs> so I'm not here shopping for other people. But yeah, Sephora was tempting. <laughs> Tragedy has struck twice. <laughs> I have to get on the train again today. I feel like when I was younger, I could deal with it, but like, um, I, I just, ugh, I hate the train. The reality is I'm gonna be on the train more because um, I'm gonna be in the city more, in Manhattan more. You know what confuses some people that are not from here that we say the city? If you um, live in Brooklyn or upstate or the Bronx or any other borough, we call Manhattan the city because I don't know why, we just do. The whole thing is New York City, right? <laughs> but Manhattan, we call the city. So anyway, I'm gonna be in the city more and I'm gonna have to be on the subway. And you know, everybody rides the subway. Even the mayor rides the subway. Millionaires ride the subway. I just hate it. I'm bringing you guys along. I have something to do, but also I'm gonna go shopping and 
I need my friends to come along with me. That's you guys. If you guys saw my last video, you saw that I tried to, <laughs> I tried to straighten my hair and failed a little bit, but I did try. So I have to work on my technique, but I tried this. Have you guys seen this before? It helps with the, um, the chase method. So, and then use the, the flat iron behind it. It's genius. And for somebody who is terrible of doing their hair, that really helped. I think though that I have to work on my technique and I might want to change my products when I try to flat iron my hair. But that's that's neither here nor there. It's out, it's hair. But right now I am putting it in a ponytail because that did not survive. Also, you guys, I tried to rinse out my grays. My gray hairs are driving me nuts. <laughs> Like, I don't understand. My mama, I don't know if I told you guys this, but my mama did not get gray hair until she was in her 60s. Mommy is not even halfway into her 60s yet. So that just means she only had gray hairs for a few years. I started getting grays in my 20s. Like why? And now it has just overtaken my hair. I tried to put a rinse in it, Didn't, did not take. So now I have to wait a few weeks to try to do that again. I really need to have somebody do it professionally because this ain't working. And I don't want to put a, another box dye or I'm trying not to put another box dye in my hair. But it's driving me nuts. So yesterday or the other day, I tried on a pair of pants. Okay, so I have pants in three different sizes. I, I have these pants from like when I was in college and I was much, much smaller. I have the size that I am now and I have a size where I am bigger. So I have these pants in three different sizes. I hope I'm not the only one that does that, but I have them. So yesterday I tried on a pair of pants that were the pair, or I tried to try on, was the pair that I was the size when I was in college. And it was a mistake. I was trying to put on the regular, my, my size now pair. <laughs> and they did not fit obviously because I haven't, you know, lost all that weight. And you guys, I completely broke down, not realizing it was a wrong pair of pants. I was like, what am I doing? What's going on? Like, I, I, I break down. I broke down. I immediately text my husband because who else do you text? <laughs> well, who else do I text um, when I'm having a breakdown? I don't know why, because he can't fix it. But this man says to me, he doesn't say, well, you didn't go to the gym last week. He didn't say, you know, you've been eating so much, you know, that explains it. This man said, what can I do to help? Now, he can't help. He's always trying to fix something. There's nothing he can do to help. <laughs> but the thing he said was, how can I help? What can I do to fix it? Which was just, I'm blessed. That's all I have to say. Long story short, I had a freak out. He comes home and he brings me flowers because I had a bad day. The bad day was I couldn't wear, I couldn't fit into these pants that I thought <laughs> were the pants that I always wear. Anyway, crisis averted because it was the wrong pair of pants. But the point is, it's like, it's the little things that just made me so happy and feel so blessed. If you are new here, you don't know that I've been with my husband since we were teenagers. And to still have a very good relationship where he still makes me feel good, it's very, I don't know, I just feel blessed. That just made me really feel happy. Anyway, crisis averted. <laughs> I just freaked out for no reason. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna fill in these eyebrows, put my hair in a ponytail, that's the only thing I can do right now. And I'll see you guys in a bit. since I was already up here that I would go to Bloomingdale's.
Hey girl, hey. This is a weird place to start a vlog since I'm in a parking garage. But we came to Queens to go to at home because I wanted to get some garland. Our Christmas tree is already up, but I want some garland to like put around the house and you know, some pre-lit garland. And we don't have a at home in Brooklyn. So um, yeah, let's go in there and see what they have. Hopefully they have what I'm looking for. I want a garland that looks like this. This is like the new thing, but they don't have any garland that looks like this. All of the other garland just looks, you know, like the, how it used to look, right? So I'll probably settle for that and then maybe next year, because I can't find this type of garland anywhere. I think it's sold out already, but I think this will work just fine for this year. And then I'm gonna get this little guy, a little black nutcracker. I wonder if I should get two of them. Can he just live his life by himself or does he need a friend? I don't know, but I'm gonna get this guy. I think that this is gorgeous. It is a little unconventional, but look how pretty. I think I'm gonna get that. <laughs> what a cute uh, color for a nice beauty room. This champagne pink, so cute. I get this one or the big one? This is 12 and this is 14, so it's not. Yeah, but I think I like. Yeah, me too. Okay, we're going short. This is what I love. I love the burgundies, the browns, the golds. Very pretty. I don't need these, so I'm not gonna get them, <laughs> but they are pretty. We are on our way to the Christmas market in Union Square because I saw on TikTok this beautiful, rich, hot chocolate they have over there that I want to try and I want to see what else they have. We love coming here every year. We go to this one and where's the other one? In Bryant Park. So we're going to see what we have over there. I'm probably going to have to switch to my phone because my battery is dying and I forgot my battery at home, but I'm going to try to do it. That's a, you can't park there. Um, yeah, see, it's blinking. All right, so I'll see you in a second. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this dog has on Crocs. I swear to you, this dog has on Crocs, you guys. Only New York Crocs, oh my goodness. Oh dear, hilarious. Listen, whoever said that New York was done or it was over and everybody was leaving is a dang lie. <laughs> the amount of traffic and the amount of people that were in that market, honestly, was more than I've ever seen. I could barely move, I couldn't see. My husband was able to see over people because he's taller, but I could see nothing. I just literally <laughs> just followed right behind him. It was absolutely ridiculous. Never seen it that packed, right? Oh yeah. It was terrible. So we're gonna try to go to the other one on in Bryan Park. I'm not sure if they have the chocolate or not, but we'll see. <laughs> Hey girl, hey. So do you guys remember earlier in this vlog when I said I don't need anything from Sephora? I didn't buy anything. <laughs> so I'm out here shopping for other people. Apparently I lied. This is 20% off discount they have happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize that. I already ordered some things just for pickup. I'm, we're gonna go pick that up. And we're also gonna go to Bergdorf Goodman. I wanna see a few things. Mainly what I want to see is um, their Christmas ornament. Bergdorf Goodman does beautiful Christmas ornaments every year. Um, and I just wanna see what they have, maybe pick something up, and I'm gonna bring you guys along. Seen this 
one. I love the gold and the silver together. Super cute. showed you guys these in the video, these Bottega boots. This is the Kate flat I was talking about in my last video. Um, still not convinced. <laughs> I know silver is in and I love it, but gold will always have my heart. That is beautiful. <gasps> always felt like YSL was so New York. The black, the white, the straight lines. It's very metropolitan. One of my favorites for sure. They just gave me this sample of this fragrance that I've never heard of. I'm going to put it on the screen. It's divine. Tell me you've smelled this before. Let me know what you think. Or this brand, it's amazing. I came here for Christmas ornaments. I got sidetracked. Hey girl, hey. You know if you've been here for a while when you see these glasses that I've been editing and it is time to show you what I bought this week. My baby brother calls these glasses um, bifocal boo blockers? Bifocal boo blockers, mad rude. <laughs> you know I went to Sephora so I'm gonna show you what I got there and why. And then I got some new boots, you guys, I know. I had no plans of buying any more boots for this season because I really don't need any but I'll explain to you when I show you. But let me show you Sephora first and then I'll show you my boots. So here's my little bag. Some of these things are fun. Some of them I just needed to re-up. So like I got a new beauty blender because I needed one. Also you guys don't judge my nails. I got the um, I got Gel X and they've lasted about three weeks which is pretty good. But it's time to go get them done again. And I'm trying to think if I really need to get them done again. I'm just getting a manicure because they are expensive. Anyway, I got the sponge that I needed. I also got a um, pencil sharpener for my NARS pencils that I needed. Not so fun, but needed. I got this face mask, this nice cinnamide face mask from Pharmacy because you guys told me to try out this brand um, and I'm excited to try it because I love a good night mask. I got a re-up on my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting. Um, spray it's just one of my favorites I will always have this in my collection unless something else comes out there are actually a few that I want to try <laughs> but this is gonna be a mainstay in my collection I got a re-up on my Sephora micro smooth powder I just needed another one I was out and then you guys saw the other day when I went to Sephora I smelled this I couldn't get out my mind <laughs> So I went back and I got it. I really also want that Tom Ford one, but this one is less expensive and I felt like I was doing myself a favor by getting the cheaper one, I guess. The bottle is so pretty. And then I got this hair serum. I actually saw a black woman on TikTok use this. We have similar type hair. I think, I believe it was 4B is what my hair, I believe is. Um, her hair was much longer than mine, a good six to seven inches longer than mine. And she uses this on her hair, but particularly her ends at night to keep them nice and moisturized. So I wanted to try that. I'm trying to um, be conscious about growing my hair out this year or gen come January. I don't have any problem growing or maintaining my hair. My problem 
is really cutting it. I cut it whenever I feel like I need to cut it. If the ends are a little raggedy, I will just <laughs> I will just cut it. Like yesterday, I put my hair in a ponytail and some of the ends look dry and I just cut it. So I'm trying to get better at that. Um, but I wanted to try this. Have not tried much from this brand. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try that. They said it's good for all types of hair and including curly and coily and my hair is both. And then this happened. Hear me out. I li literally said I wasn't going to buy any more boots. I have, well, I wasn't going to buy any, any more boots this season unless it was a crazy sale or there was something that I just couldn't resist, right? Um, you guys see I got those beautiful bronze boots. I have all kind of colors. I have uh, fuchsia, I have pink, I have brown, I have burgundy. I have enough boots. Um, unless I saw some Paris, Texas on a really good sale, I was going to abstain because I don't need any more right now. But then... Should sent me an email like some jerks <laughs> and I opened the email and this was in it. Now, if you recall, I love my bronze boots, but I was looking for a gold pair. There were a pair that I wanted that were gold, but they were a little bit too gold and I wanted something that was champagne. So, should said, say less. <laughs> And they sent me, or not sent me, <laughs> I wish, they sent me the email of these boots and I said, damn it man, <laughs> I need that color. I have the silver ones. If you follow me on my shorts or Instagram, you've seen my silver Schutz boots. It's not the same, um, it's not the same design. They are like a smooth silver, but because I love gold so much and I love the metallic trend, I really wanted this type of gold boot. This is one of my favorite um, affordable brands. Again, I always say affordable. I know that affordable is relative, but for me, Schutz is affordable. When I start getting into like my, my Paris, Texas boots, and you guys see some other my expensive boots, I will say those are more, um, a little more expensive that I have to think about. Schutz, I don't have to think about as much because they are less expensive. And they're leather and well-made. And oh, look at these, they're so pretty. <laughs> they're so pretty. So yeah, I feel like metallic is a thing right now and people think you could just wear it in December, but I fully see myself wearing this into spring before it gets too warm. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. I need them, but I love them and I'm happy to have them. So y'all just go ahead and do me a favor. If there is a sale on boots, don't send me nothing. Don't DM me unless it's a really, really good sale. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, that was the vlog. If it was too much shopping, I am so sorry. I know this whole vlog really was just shopping, shopping, shopping. This weekend, we're doing something else. We're doing other things um, besides shopping. So the next vlog won't be so store heavy. Um, but you guys, oh, I don't know if you could hear me in Bergdorf's. But that fragrance that I showed you about is delicious. If you live in New York, because I think that that particular fragrance is special for um, for New York, you have to go smell it. I am in love with it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.